I get butterflies in my stomach. Mm -hmm. But then when I, that happens, I just think about the positive. All right, new at six, kids in test taking. Students across the area are taking standardized tests. And for some little ones, it can mean anxiety and even high stress. First News Weekend anchor Katie Wilson talked to some fourth graders today and learned how they're dealing with tests. She's live in the studio with the story. Yeah, so I visited Joshua Dixon Elementary and I was impressed. Even at that young age, they're learning and using lots of ways to manage stress. To tell me some things that you do so that you can help your friends for tomorrow when everybody has to take part two. Fourth graders at Joshua Dixon Elementary School in Columbiana are done with another day of state testing. This isn't their first year. We've been doing this for a while. But that doesn't mean they aren't stressed about it. I get butterflies in my stomach. I'll just worry about it for a while. Students say test stress is pretty common. That's why they're learning techniques to handle it. We do different things around the building um, to boost their, their um, energy level, to boost their confidence. Principal Kim Sharshin says they give out snack packs and encourage deep breathing and positive thoughts. They've also started a new method. We do make sure in our test planning that the teacher that teaches that content is the one that's administering the test. Students will continue taking tests up until May 4th. I got this. I can do this. And that means messages like this will continue to flood the halls. Now we also spoke to a child psychiatrist at Akron Children's Hospital. She says anxiety is one of the most common conditions in children. Live in the studio, Katie Wilson, WKBN 27 First News.